Good evening everyone. Ford Field will be a busy place this week. After the Lions game against Houston Thursday, eight high school state football final contests will take place Friday and Saturday. Ishpeming leads off the Saturday lineup in Division 7 against Tro Detroit Loyola. The Hematites offense scored only one touchdown Saturday in the semifinal against Pawama Westphalia. Eric Castriva had the honors on this run right at me. That brought Ishpeming within 7-6 in the third quarter. And Ishpeming went in the same direction on the two-point conversion. Quarterback Alex Briones followed his blockers and made what proved to be the winning points. Ishpeming's defense intercepted three pirate passes and held on for the 8-7 win. Ishpeming and Detroit Loyola play in the D7 title game Saturday morning at 10 o'clock. You can see the game on Fox Sports Detroit. We'll also have highlights on Saturday's late news. Okay, now yeah, why am I wearing this hat? I almost put an adjective in front of it, but I don't want to do that. Yes, I'm a Lions fan. You nice people, I think, understand that by now. And this is my punishment for saying the Lions over by three over Green Bay Friday night on our sister station, Fox UP. Now, I think I should get some bonus points here because Detroit led three nothing. That's three. 10 7 at the half. That's three. 17 14. That's three. Apparently, it's the score at the end of the game that matters most. And yes, of course, I the know. Lions are benching wide receiver Titus Young for Thursday's game following what coach. Jim Schwartz calls unacceptable behavior during the loss to Green Bay. Schwartz does not characterize the move as a suspension, but he says Young was sent home from the team's practice facility today and will be inactive against the Texans. The coach does not say what Young specifically did wrong, but says there's no room for selfish behavior in a team sport. Young, the second-year receiver out of Boise State, has 33 catches for 383 yards and four touchdowns. He caught one pass for 24 yards yesterday. Young was involved in an altercation with teammate Lewis Delmas last offseason. When he was in college, he missed most of the 2008 campaign for disciplinary reasons. Michigan Tech senior basketball forward Ali Hadar was named the GLIAC North Division Men's Player of the Week after he scored 55 points and grabbed 19 rebounds in a pair of games last week. The Windsor Ontario native opened the season with a double-double, scoring 32 points and grabbing 14 rebounds in a 75-67 win at Southwest Minnesota State. He also had three assists, one block and one steal. He followed up with 22 points and five rebounds against Minnesota Duluth. Hadar currently ranks 14th in career scoring at Michigan Tech with 1,326 points. We had some college basketball tonight. Go give it Community College on the road at Northland International, just across the border in Wisconsin. The GCC women won 62-46. Ironwood's Jesse Mackey had 16 points and 8 rebounds. North Dickinson's Brianne Stroud had 11 points and 13 rebounds. The men also pulled away in the second half to win 86-62. Randy Clark led the Sampsons with 21. David Anderson had 10. Gliak Volleyball recently named the all-conference teams. Enemy who had two players on the first team setter, Kalisha Harley, and left side hitter, Lena Lopes. An honorable mention with right side hitter, Callie Heron. Lake Superior State had an honorable mention with Megan Drobish, the Libero, and Michigan Tech outside hitter, Shelby Jones. An honorable mention as well. And don't forget, all kinds of information is available on our website at UpperMichiganSource.com. The Green Bay Packers will be very happy to know that San Francisco leads Chicago 32 to 7 in the fourth quarter. Uh, the Bears need Jay Cutler desperately. Yeah, they're struggling. It's so is the uh, the punishment officially over now? You're going to take the, the punishment hat off? will be <laughs> over shortly. I, I did my best to wear a color coordinated outfit though to keep. Yeah, at least you could have worn Lions blue or something like that. But uh, you went the whole. That would have cla clashed way too much. I have <laughs> some fashion taste. I know. Thanks, Mike. <laughs>